black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. I figured since today we're gonna try a Tokyo treat box flying in all the way from Japan. Shout out Japan. Clean, quiet, nice, uniform, beautiful place. Heard about it, wanna go. Anyways, so got sent a Tokyo treat box and in my head I was like, let me just bust this out for old time's sake and match the box that we're gonna do. I'm so intrigued to see what kind of crazy snacks. I don't I don't know if it's 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 desserty or or like um, salty like chips and stuff and you know weird rice rice puffs and things like that. So I got my my fillet, my box filet. <laughs> And let's Buffy the Vampire Slayer Flayer this thing. So up on the top, here we go. ASMR unboxing, ASMR unboxing. This is not gonna unbox. Wow, this night, this not this. Okay, all right. Ooh. So I slide her open. That was a quick, easy slide. I got the premium box. Honestly, guys. Wow, really? Hyped. No, this is crazy though. <laughs> yes, no way. Okay, I gotta put it up front and center. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Should show you guys inside. So colorful. Yes, this is what I love about Japan, like a Asia in general. It's just like the cute, colorful, like, oh my God, everything is so crazy colorful. So Hanami Picnic, there you go. Do you want a free box? Everybody wants a free box in this life. Oh my God, I'm so psyched. Also, I feel so, <laughs> just this shirt is too much for me. I, just because I'm in Thunder Bay, I feel like it's like it's a hunting colors, plus this, this uh, camo hat. I feel so <laughs> hunter. But anyways, okay, so there's a little booklet with a bunch of cute stuff. Okay, cool. Not gonna spend too much time on that. I want to get these treats for real. This is a treat too. It's a Canadian summer treat, but we're gonna do a Japanese treat. So, okay, I guess the first thing we should start with is just this. I can't understand any of this lettering or writing, so I don't know anything about it. It says, energy drink bubble candy. Crazy. The dude looks stressed on this package, as you can see. And um, I'm feeling as if it's probably gonna stress me out. Like I just, it's if it, I'm I'm anticipating sour. Let's just call it that. So it seems candy-ish. In my head, for as per Canadian standards, it for North or Western world standards, it seems sour. Okay, cool. So it's like a packet of these. Yellow tablets, very sugar tablet-y. ASMR. Okay, interesting. So I've got um, like a a sweet a sweet tart. In North America, a sweet tart, that powdery, mm. but wait, there's more. I bit it. It fizzed. Oh, now it's, this is interesting as shit. It's lemony and, and tart, but sweet. And when you bite it, it explodes into this foam. That's cool. That's crazy. Mmm. I love the foam. I don't know if you remember back in the day, there's those candies called Fizz. And they're like orange, purple, red. Pretty sure that was it. And it was came in a row and you snap them off. It's like a sucky candy and you bite it and then the inside fizzes, foams. That's exactly what that's like, but just in like a sweet tart pill form. God, I'm 
so good at describing things. Born with it. Okay, off off that, I wanna go to this next weird clown guy. <laughs> Yo, they're not joking around, eh? Five, four packets? Don't mind if I do, gonna try a little snipe of one, but so clown dude, once again, don't know anything of anything. I don't know what this writing even means, but ooh, tore off pretty nice. Put you off to the side and it came right open there. So already what I can tell, it looks like almost like a puffy rice, maybe something or other. Oh, no, okay. No, very interesting. Same thing as on the package, like I said, like a ring, puffy ring. Already what I'm getting from this is Funyun. This looks like a Funyun. Nope, well it is, it's the same thing, but um, okay, what I can equate it to in the West is, you know, by Old Dutch, I think, my aunt's like favorite back in the day, but it came in a <clears throat> blue bag with some yellow called Twists. They're puffed. They're called Twists in the Western world. And it's a puffed, a puffed crispy treat. I don't know what it's made out of though. Potato? Either way. Either way. Well, basically, true nice. Okay, good. How to sweet, how to savory. Where are we at next? Guys, look at this box. They jam packer in there. Full. We got Pockies. I do know Pockies. We all know Pockies. I, I lived in Toronto, so Pockies is like a, definitely a thing. But let's go for this weird little next. Mochito Kanako. Mochito Kanako. Oh, Mochito Kanako. I Kanako, yeah. Why did, I smell? Why did I just smell it? Okay, so they're very squishy. When I heat, when I see mochito, I'm thinking mochi, and I feel squishy, so I'm thinking like mochi ice cream, something I've tried. Oh, they got the freshness pack. So actually, let's take it out. Yeah, so it's got definitely it's so mochi. It's got that. Squishy, it's definitely like mochi based type thing. It's very emotional for me because I can c connect with it because I've had mochi before. It's, it's definitely just mochi. You can see inside there, there's a little bit of filling. Interesting. So it's just mochi, but with a uh, I want to say almost like um, like a natural peanut butter. It's like a peanut butter, but it's 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 definitely a nut butter sort of filling. I just don't know. It's sort of peanut buttery, but it's almost. You know, what? it's almost like a actually no. It's almost like a. A peanut butter cookie dough. That's more what it feels like. It's like a cookie dough with a nutty flavor to it. And that's what I'm going to stick with. Canadian treats. Okay, next up. Dude, they really do it on this thing. So, we got these funny guys. Once again, Japan just being super cartoon as, as per usual. Into it though, definitely into it. DIY, okay, so there's some English here. DIY apple flavored chewing candy. I kind of weirdly like not knowing anything and having to go in completely blind. But as I see, it looks like there's caramel apples. So I get it. Man, why, oh my God. 
Oh, holy, what? <laughs> no, no. Mmm, you guys, the aroma off this thing, <laughs> holy crap. No way, it's like a painter's tray. It's got a little painter's tray with these guys. Oh my goodness me. Oh, oh, oh. Very cool, very, very cool. Oh, this is so ASMR. It should have been an ASMR video, but I feel like too hyper to do ASMR, but. So, he give you a toothpick. This is your candy apple. So you skewer your apple, right? Got you. And then, like a painter's tray, I want to keep it up top and high so you guys can see it. You, please work for me. Go in. No. Yes, got it open. So you go in and then you have like a, it's so ASMR, <laughs> so ASMR. But you have like a gelatin and by gelatin, I mean not gelatin at all. I mean like a sticky mixture. What's the vibe? It's kind of a, like a melted Jolly Rancher. It's just like sugar, really. And then they give you this little uh, packet of Sprankles. Right? That was easy. That was easy. Let's get off a closing person for this. Real, real shit. Look at this. So you twist your candy up, right? Ayo. And then coat it decode it fanning whatever happened to her as an actor I don't know I'll tell you guys one thing's for real the aroma coming off this was like too proper Ooh, we we goozing we oozing but that's because summertime Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god. That's so delicious. Oh my god. What? That's so delicious. Just okay, so here's where I'm at. This is a great candy. I, I personally didn't think I was going to F with it as much. This is why it's a great candy. Oh my god. It's so complex. So you have this. This has the consistency of... Um, like the inside of a Mentos. Kind of like a Starburst, but not quite as gummy. Like an inside of a Mentos is the best thing I could say. So inside of a Mentos, it's like it's incredibly candy apple flavorful. Then you got this goo that's just delicious. And then the crunch of these little beads over here. It's just, it's, it's, it's um, texturally in your mouth. It's so awesome. And then just the flavor explosion. Like these guys are. It's multicolored. It's like the inside of a Mentos. Also halfway between a. Like a marshmallow candy. Like a. Those marshmallow candies called strawberry milkshakes. Once again in the Western world. Wow, that was, that's delicious. That's a good ass candy. <laughs> All right, man, this thing is loaded up, like holy. All right, this is gonna be a long ass video. Okay, so this thing, don't know. 
long bar feels super like it's called nipple 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 very f like puff rice nipple <laughs> I'm not gonna lie it looks very phallic and it doesn't smell great but it's giving me once again. It's giving me Funyun vibes. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm expecting like, not for smell, but why am I addicted? <laughs> addicted to the bad smell? Why does it look like a paint? You know what? It smells like paint, and it looks like a paintbrush roller. That's what it is. But also, what is that? Anyways, so. Suspicions serve me pretty correct. It's very Funyun. It has kind of that flavor, but it has the Asian twist, of course, of. It's got earthy, umami tones. And I think it's either like either soy, sesame, edamame. Probably soy, sesame, really. That's what I get, soy, sesame with a light hit of fish sauce, maybe. Pretty good. Nothing to shake a stick at. Like, I mean, it's it's pretty delicious. And I got it on my face. Okay, so we got these called po, po Ricky. There's a dude on the front being all uh, Dr. Robotnik about it. I don't think his name's Dr. I think it's just Robotnik. Anyways, these look to me from the package, they look like pretzel sticks. figure it shout out the neighbors so it's like a little bread stick basically oh yep they're all broken as shit in Japan I would call this a bread stick bow staff <laughs> but let's try it Loki. Interesting though. Okay, so what it So it's just like a little bread sticky thing. We all know these. It's like a cracker, a crisp. But this has a um a butteriness, pepperiness. But it also has like a like a baby cracker vibe, like a di like a digest like a digestive, the digestible crackers, those things that you give to like babies and children, and that's the vibe. Okay, we got this little guy hiding secret in here, a little dude. My initial guess, I have no idea what's going on, other than it looks so cute, is that uh, I'm expecting like a fruit leather in the Western world. We all know what fruit leathers are. Oh, I would be completely and totally wrong. I don't think it's even food at all. It's, er, wait. Oh, definitely has. It's got an aroma. So it's got this cute little stickers. Man, Japan is so cool, man. Their attention to detail is actually so cool. And then, like, this little, like, almost like a card you can give to somebody when you stand it up on their mantle or whatever, like this. And you probably put in a cute sticker and a message. But whatever this is, Oh, no, you know what? It's giving me Airhead vibes now. It smells Airhead. It feels Airhead. Oh, this is such an interesting experience. I want to do this so much more often. Okay, it's... 
it's not quite airhead. It's halfway between a stick of gum, a stick of Wrigley's, and airhead. I can't even describe the flavor. It's, um, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know. It's, um, it's like sweet, non overpowering, like lemon zest almost. With a bit of, um, not like ginger, but sort of something like that. That's hard to, to detect. I don't even really know how to, how, how to say what it is. Okay, next up. Another, it's another one of those same guys that were like phallic. Oh, it's the spicy one though. Or a bar, it's either spicy or barbecue. So this is a spicy barbecue phallic. Still, ooh. That one's got a seaweed, a definite seaweed smell. Out of here, fly. I don't even want to eat that part. Ah, oh, fuck it. Mm. So it's kind of like the consistency of a puffy Cheeto. It's more sweet than spicy. That one has more of a like a nori, a nori flavor to it. Definitely like a seaweed flavor. Which isn't up my alley. Like very fish sauce. I don't deal with or handle fish stuff very well. We got the pulky. I already know what these are like, but might as well give it a try. Very nice. Two packages. Come on, guys. Pulky, pulky is like across the board for a reason. It just aesthetically so on point. Their branding is so on point. So I guess it's good for those who've never had a pokey stick. It's basically, a, I want to say almost like a cookie type stick coated in the exterior of a pop tart. It's basically a pop tart in a stick, really, without 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 a filling. You see how you have the like the icing cream, and then inside you have like the sugar bits. This is great. A nice little after dinner. Couple couple sticks. Perfect. So good, I actually want another one. Okay. Poke it down. Oh, hello. Another little secret little guy. I have no idea, but he's cute. A little lion. It's little tabs. They're hard. Once again, sweet tart sugar based type things. Hopefully it's not an ecstasy pill. Whoa, that's so weird. It, just, it dissolves so fast. That's a quick melter. I don't know what that means, but... I think they're supposed to be the flavor of that melon. There's definitely a melon on the front. It's a little bit like a sweet and sour, like honeydew, basically. Okay, next is one that we can't try because it's tea. They come in pyramid bags, but I mean, we all know Lipton, right? We live in the West, so maybe sip on some of that in an ASMR video. Next we got 
something I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna like. But a bag of prawn chips. Or shrimp, whatever you wanna call it. Prawn, shrimp. I know I'm probably not gonna like this. Prawn, prawnly not gonna like this. Oh yeah. Oh my god. The smell is already freaking me out. Holy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oof. She's rough, baby. But I'll do it for you. I'll always try something. So it looks like a little french fry. It's puffed. So the flavor is actually good. Yeah, it's got a bit of the aftertaste of the smell, really, but the smell was much worse than the actual flavor. Salty, crunchy, has a savoriness to it. Not something I'll be fin finishing, but hey, I had like six, so can't be that bad, right? All right, uh, we got the big boy. Looks like some sort of a uh, almost like a like a macaron, maybe. But there's a weird leaf on it on the back, so I don't really know what that means. Kind of looks like seaweed once again. I'm not sure. But we got a bag of these. Furuta, furuta, and they come. Individualized. Smells del delicious. It's like a cookie. You just bust it open. You can see the inside, maybe there. Hmm. Need to have another one to see what's going on. Hard to explain. Um, it's certainly like a, a cookie type dough, but it's kind of like a, sh uh, like a sugar cookie, but more moist. It's halfway between a sugar cookie and a regular cookie. It's like very granular in a sense, but also has like a, a, a chew to it. And the flavor is that of which I cannot explain. There's literally nothing. It's sweet. There's something there, but... I guess the closest thing, and I know it's not even it at all, but... The closest flavor I can describe to it is Fig Newton. If you ever had a Fig Newton in your life, it's kind of like that, like, like a, that date, sort of that date flavor, or um, Fig flavor, I should say, because it's a Fig Newton, not a Date Newton, idiot. <laughs> and then, sorry, the last thing I've had is to match everybody, box empty at that point, they parked a lot in here too, is clearly this, and this is very interesting, because this is going to lead into my next video that I'm going to optimize for today, and you'll see it another day, but... Um, clearly, uh, like a Mexican inspired, probably like I'm, I'm expecting like spicy nacho or queso chip, uh, Pringle. We all know Pringles. Well, maybe we all don't actually. When I think about YouTube, I always think it's just like American or Western world, world people. It is mostly, but you know. If you live in Finland, you might not have Pringles. Exactly as I expected. It's a light kick of a spice with cheese. But 
as you'll observe, they got ruined in the process of coming here, so they're completely shattered. Once you pop, you can't stop. That's true for me for chips. Especially Pringles. They have such a good texture. Amazing texture. Okay, now I need to stop. Man, that was interesting. That was fun. I have a mess around me, but that was like, that's cool. I actually can't wait to like share these with some of my peeps that are around me now. Long, long video, I know. I think it was interesting enough to stay the whole time though. So I would love to do more of these. If any other company wants to reach out, please do so. Um, yeah, it was awesome. So till the next one, you guys know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true. Peace.